Okay, welcome back to Mana Marie in P where I'm on a journey starting my own medical practice from the ground up and I'm sharing the adventure, sharing the journey with you. So if you didn't already watch the most recent video I shared with you on just, you know, all the things starting a business, I'll go ahead and link that in the description box below. Today, I'm going into the city building in the city I live. So tip that I have for you. If you are wanting to start a practice of your own from the ground up, you're going to need to, one, find a place to do it. Two, you're gonna to need to contact the city that you live in and find out if the property that you are interested in using um, after your long search has ended and you find something is zoned properly for commercial use. So some properties are zoned for residential, meaning you can live there. Um, others are zoned for commercial use. So make sure that you understand the zoning for the property, um, the exact address that you are looking for. And the only way to know that information is if you actually contact someone at the city. And what I think is really awesome in this process is I have been able to reach out to individuals in the city buildings and just tell them, you know, I'm, I'm new, I'm a newbie. It's the novice, the new kid on the block and I just need to know or you know you can reach out and you'll be you'll find kind individuals and you can share with them just like I did and just say I'm opening a small private practice medical practice and I would like to operate my business out of blank city and can you please point me in the right direction like is there a contact person is there someone specific that I need to talk to kind of to pick their brain um, is there an email address maybe I can shoot an email to to get more information on starting practice etc and so that's kind of where I am so I have a couple of points of contact for the city that I reside in and I've been working with them closely so I was able to meet two of them today face to face um, and then, yeah, so dropping the, that application off, um, there was a small, very small fee that had to be paid. Once everyone reviews the application and everything's good and it's approved, the next step is I will receive the certificate um, to operate my business out of this exact location in my city. So that's what I'm gonna be waiting for now. Um, after that, there is another application and I have to have a contractor and work with the contractor for the signage of the building. So where are you gonna place the sign? How big is the sign gonna be? What's the exact dimensions? And et cetera, et cetera. And then of course there's a small fee that we pay the city that we operate our business out of to be able to hang a sign. Um, so a uh, fee to the city again. And then of course you have to find the contractor that's gonna make your sign for you. And then of course they will have a little bit bigger fee to make your sign for you, to hang your sign for you. And I was told today, which you should check in your area as well, that the contractor who actually makes the sign, um, if you ask them to, they can fill out the application for the city for the permit um, to use the sign and write in all the dimensions and all the nitty gritty details and then submit it to the city on your behalf. And then once that process is complete, then again, you wait for a notification in your business email and um, then you're good to go to have that sign hung and placed properly so it meets all of the city's requirements. So that is my little uh, blurb for you today on starting your own private practice. And if you have any specific questions or if you too are thinking about starting um, a medical practice in your city and you're kind of stuck in a certain area, if I can help you, if I've already um, crossed that off of my business checklist, then I would like to share that with you. I'm going to be making another video on um, like how to make a business plan and that kind of thing. So yeah, comment below and let me know if you're enjoying this series, if there's any kind of information that you would like to see. And I'm just going to keep making these videos for you guys and sharing the journey. I'm going to place some more footage in here right now for you guys. You can see all of the amazing work that my husband has gotten done. Um, if he wasn't able to have completed this demo himself and the uh, you know 
the decoration and the cleaning and the all the things for the property then I would have had to outsource that and of course that would have been an additional business expense but thankfully he was able to complete all of this so if you watch my first video you can glance and see like the before and after um yeah I'm so excited we've only been in the property for two days now working and he has made leaps and bounds progress so it's just super super exciting so yeah here on amanda marie np i just want to encourage you in all things as far as your healthcare journey so wherever you are stna lpn rn rn with your associates bachelor's master's degree here degree there degree everywhere degree degree um yeah let me inspire you let me encourage you to do your own thing all right god bless and i'll see you very soon in my next video